As designers here at CB, we know that we will be creating lots and lots of brochures, postcards, offering memorandums using a lot of the same objects, or in this case, logos, that we've used before. So what I've decided to do for this movie was I went on to the uh, Marketing Communications Navigator menu under Templates and downloaded uh, various logos and created a new document and just placed them randomly here within this blank document. So what I want to do is talk about libraries and how we can use libraries to kind of stuff away objects that we're going to repurpose or reuse in multiple documents. It would be far more practical to use a library in this sense rather than constantly going to the library and downloading uh, the logos because that takes time. Although it's a good idea to frequently check um, the website for updates to these logos, you don't necessarily need to be downloading them every day or worrying about how you're going to archive those on your machine. It just becomes a real hassle to have to do that. So one real time saver is to create a library where, where we can categorize um, objects like these logos. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. To start with, I'm going to go up to the file menu, choose new and library. And I'm going to call this my logos. And I'm going to click save. So here's my logos. And one really nice thing is that all we have to do to start populating this library is click and drag these objects into our library. So there's the rise. Here's towards a greener tomorrow. Here's our crop C. And let's take a look at this CBRE logo for a second. It's extremely large for this page. So we probably typically wouldn't use it for this particular size of a layout, but it's probably a good idea to keep this high resolution and size just in case we're working on like a large banner or something. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that there, but then I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to grab the corner left node and slowly drag it to the corner here. And then I'm going to let go. I'm going to right click in the center of that, go to fitting, and I'm going to fit the content to frame. So now I have a much smaller version of that logo that I can use, which is probably about the standard size. And I'm going to drag this up here as well. Now while that's highlighted, I'm going to come in and double click on that, and I'm going to call this my small green CBRE logo. We'll call this standard green CMYK logo. And I'm going to click OK. And this can be my large res CBRE logo. And here's my crop C. I can rename it or just leave the name the way it is and give it a description. And let's go ahead and put portrait in there. So by double clicking, we can rename them, add a description. Now what I want to do is go ahead and create a new document. We'll show how we're going to place these documents on this or place these objects on this document. So here I have the rise logo. So if I wanted to, I could simply click and drag this object onto my page. Let me go ahead and raise the display performance. Another way that I can do this is to place the object. So you might recall on the untitled page, my Crop C is over here on the side. And we know that from the Rise logo, we can simply drag and drop, but what if I just want to place it where I had it before? I can come out to the little flyout menu and choose Place Item. And InDesign remembers where that document was, or where that 
object was stationed in the document, which is a really cool feature. So if we want to do that again, we just highlight and place that green CBRE logo down at the bottom. So this is one quick, efficient way that we can place objects in our document, repurpose them, reuse them, and you can share your library with your colleagues to use over and over again. So in our next movie, I'm going to show you a yet another way to do this using what we call snippets.